Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here we go, dude, get off the field. Yeah, run, run, run. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. One yard loss for the halfback. That makes it for the He gets to about the forty one yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Here's the give, and he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. And he's level at the 49-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Bolden, back to return it. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Longhorns offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 34-yard line, first down. They'll go with a run once again. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Taken down right around the 32-yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Third down and 12. Ball on the 32. Suck. 
Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Kern to punt. Bell takes it at the 23. Tackle made at the 33. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and from their own 38-yard line. Second down. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 48. the 28. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 28-yard line, first down. He lets it go. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Bring him down around the 12 yard line. Second down and goal. Ball on the 12 yard line. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. That makes us third and goal. Go four. Easy. Easy. He's hit and taken down. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Georgia could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. 
That brings up second and nine. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Fires it out, and he's immediately tackled. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here comes the pressure, and he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just to dominate the game. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Georgia is up by three. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Inside handoff. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a game of seven. That makes it third and three. Looks for his running back, incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Thorson is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 35. George is looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He makes it to the 35-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Got the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Boy, 
Well, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 3-0, Bulldogs. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Georgia has a three-point lead. Makes it out to about the 50. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Over the middle, got his tight end, and he's hit immediately. He might have a chance. He lost the ball. It's recovered. Kirk, what happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 38. Takes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Nice run up the middle. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Georgia holds a field goal lead. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and they push him out at the 34. to his back and he's got him again. He's tackled right around the 34. From their own 34 yard line. Second down. Robinson on the handoff. Makes it out to about the 43. And he 
stopped behind the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Bolden is back awaiting the punt. He'll take it from the 18. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. They bring him down in the backfield. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 25. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 40 yard line. First down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Fires out to his wideout. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. From the 47-yard line, first down. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. It's the tailback. Gets out to about the 31. That brings up second and nine. This is the ninth play of this drive. Across the middle, intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First and 10. Ball on their own 26. Georgia is up a field goal. Nice run, and he's brought down. Just throws this one away. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Again with the run. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Thorson is the putter. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. 
spread. Everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important goal games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 31. Here we go. They are going to pitch it, and he tackles him hard at the 33. Under pressure, quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. Kern awaits the snap. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia is up by three. He's hit and taken down. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Tackle at the 49. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Got a man open and he can't pull it in. Inside the 41. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Down the sideline. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. He hits the PAT. A five play, 69 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 10 0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Texas. The draw within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So our score, 10-7. Texas to kick this one off. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Georgia has a three-point lead. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 30. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Gets hit out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pressure coming. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and 11. Ball on the 36-yard line. that quickly to the tailback he's taken down at the 46 wow a long game but still not enough for the first well the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. The last time out they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air you wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Nice run there. A great first half comes to a close. Georgia's got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Do you know what happens after a first half like that? No, what happens? What happens is offensive coordinators, they're not coordinators anymore. They're gurus. Ah, they're wizards. Okay. They're attractive They're candidates. writing a book. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're writing a new book saying this is how you move the ball. Uh, I, I tell you what, when you put on a clinic like that, I guess you can. And you can start thinking like that. Maybe you start thinking about getting a head coaching job as well. But everything that you wanted to do on offense was executed flawlessly. There's got to be some kind of – there's got to be some way to stop themselves in the second half because right now it didn't look like anybody can stop these offenses. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Curry. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He throws a dart to the left. And it's caught. The 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He 
he just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. There he goes. Knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. He airs it out. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 47. And down he goes, right around the 34. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34. Five wide. Red, two, red. Little screen pass. And he shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. Red, two. The 10. He's tackled at the seven. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. That's a great tackle. The seven-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Humphrey gets the ball. Touchdown, Bulldogs! So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. Georgia, the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. And he is drilled at the 29. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 29. Yeah. 
And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. the 32 yard line and a quick throw score that round for the defense these guys are flying around right now the defense decided to go conservative sitting back in cover three they wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play oh excellent punt brought down at the 30 yard line the Longhorn staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled at the 43. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and 10, ball on the 43. Georgia holds a field goal lead. They'll bring him down at about the 43 yard line. throws left and he's knocked out immediately after the catch first and ten ball on the 29 yard line nice run up the middle Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle at the 19-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Makes it out to about the eight-yard line. That brings him second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the eight. Georgia is up a field goal. Quick pass, and he's level at the five-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. That close to being intercepted. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Toss play. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. He's on the run, slides down to the ground. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 41. He's out of bounds. From the 44 yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 34. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's under some heat, throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. Georgia with a six-point lead. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 49 yard line. And he's taken down at the 40. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Up the middle for a nice game. Quick strike, and he drops it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Play 
Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. George's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's taken down at the 35. That's three down and one to go. Georgia's got a 13-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 45. Gets to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at about the 45. That makes it second and two. Again, he'll get the call. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 37. Robinson's in the technical. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes the catch and look out. He steps out around the 28-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. And they make the stop at the 20. From the 20-yard line, first down. Good 
Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Makes it to the five. Fred, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense, and look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Touchdown, Longhorns. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. Texas to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Georgia is up by six. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 32. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. Bring him down behind the line. Second down and 11. Ball on the 46 yard line. They hand it off. Brought down at the 36-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Georgia up six. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away, and it's good! <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Not sure that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. They'll bring him down at the 24. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The counter, tackle around the 40-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. He's up to 300 yards passing. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. And it's not too often you get a game like this from your quarterback, but it doesn't matter because these guys are still losing in the game. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and 10. Ball on the 46. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Under heavy pressure. And he almost has the INT. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. They bring him down in the backfield. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Makes it to the 48-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. Hands it to the back. They go to the left for a nice game. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations. But a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Thorson got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They're set to go for another round. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's leveled at the 26-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. 
They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's tackled right away. He wants it all going long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Let's it go. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Now, fooled no one there, Brad. From the 35 yard line, it's second down. He's out of bounds right around the 30. And this play is number eight on the drive. Under a minute left in the game. it out. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 16-yard line. That makes it second and two. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. And he adds the extra point. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been a fun afternoon because he's having a lot of success. And the reason is he's in tune with his receivers and they're really playing with a great rhythm. And let's also recognize the offensive line. This defense has been coming after this quarterback. And to the offensive line's credit, they've given him enough time to be able to read the defense and make good throws. He doesn't have to do too much else here. Just make sure they hang on to the football. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The Longhorns, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 47-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go, and he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Robinson on the give. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. And the ball game's over. The Bulldogs take this one, 30-28. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.